right guys, I am here at the front of my property. The problem I'm having is when UPS or uh, FedEx or anybody comes to my house here at my gate, I don't know that they're here unless they have my number and they can call me. Okay, or they have the code here, they can come in. Um, so I've been wanting a, um, a sensor, a uh, driveway sensor that I can put here and that would alert me to my, uh, you know, me at, at home. But my house is 1300 feet all the way down there and I don't know of a, uh, a driveway sensor, I didn't know of a driveway sensor uh, that can go that far. I know Guardline makes one that can go a quarter mile and that's 1320 feet um, but that's cutting it too close so I found one made by Dakota Alert that I think will work it'll uh, I think the signal travels several miles so we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to install that how to set it up and get that going all right guys, so what I ended up getting is the Dakota Alert system. It's the M538BS, but I bought the kit. The kit includes your receiver and the transmitter, okay? Uh, this is a sensor that whenever you pass, anybody passes in front of it, it'll alert the receiver and lets you know that somebody's at your gate. This has a range of several miles between the two, so that's awesome. Um, also extra, what I ended up getting, this was like $13 or $14, something like that, um, is an auxiliary, auxiliary chime because this, when it goes off, it says alert zone one and I don't want to hear that. I'd rather hear a chime or something going off. So this will, will be like a ding or a chime or something um, to let you know that someone's at the gate. So um, uh, let me show you how to set this up and uh, We'll see if it works. All right, so in your kit, in the uh, transmitter here, the sensor, you open the you open the bottom up here, and this opens up. Inside, you're going to find your antenna. Okay, we're going to take that out. The antenna goes right on top here. You want to snug that up. Now inside, you're going to have a place to put your batteries. It takes six AA batteries. Now this is your sensor here. Now you just, there's a, uh, tabs here and you just pull those apart. And you just pull that off like that. And in here you're going to have three of these dials here. This is your channel and your sub channels. We're going to set those in a minute. Alright. Put that back in here like that. Really simple setup. Okay, and here on the receiver, you're going to get your instructions. You have also an antenna. You got the uh, receiver right here. And this just hooks up like that. And you give it a twist. And this just spins around. Um, antenna goes up about maybe a foot and a half or so. Um, and it comes with a... Um, comes with power so you can plug it into the wall. It does not have batteries here, so you don't put batteries in here. Um, so we're gonna get this thing set up and uh, get it all installed and see how it works. All right, so the first thing we need to do here to the uh, transmitter is take off the cover here, open it up, and you're gonna wanna install your batteries. Like I said, it holds six AA batteries, all right? Put that there. Next thing we have to do is take this off. We got these tabs here. Pull these tabs apart. This will pop right up. All right, on these three dials here, you're gonna notice there's an arrow on top of each dial. That's pointing to each number here. So on this instance, this arrow is pointing to number one. This one's pointing to zero, and this one's pointing to one. The first dial is your channel. The second two are your sub-channels. So for instance, um, if it's channel 01, you want to set this at 1, and then your sub-channel can go from uh, 01 to 38. So in, in this instance here, we have channel 01. Now I can put this wherever I want. 
uh, I put this on number one and say put this one on five and it'll be 15. So that's wherever you want to put it. But for now, uh, to see if this works, we're going to put this on channel one, sub channel zero one. Now this here is a sliding switch. This switch here can slide uh, when it's all the way in the up position, it's zone one, okay? So we have um, uh, one transmitter here, so we're gonna keep this at one. If you had multiple transmitters, you can put zone uh, two and three and four. Okay, there's four positions on that switch. But when you have it all the way up, it is on zone one. All right, now that we have this all set, we have uh, channel one, uh, sub-channel zero one. We could replace this here. Okay, and we'll put the batteries back. And we can close the unit up. So this is all set. All right, now the receiver here, we have to set this up. The first thing you wanna do, of course, is plug, put the power in it. Then with this uh, volume knob, you click it on, you roll it on. Now the first, it goes to default is uh, channel 01, all right? Um, you can adjust that here to whatever channel, okay, I think it goes up to four, five, okay, back to 01. Um, Next one, you hit the mode and it brings you to the sub-channel. You can also adjust that to whatever channel up to 38, okay? Um, but we're going to put it at 01. And then the next one is tone. And the tone, we're just going to leave it, let's see, 3, 4, back to 1. We're going to leave that at 1. So we're at channel 1, sub-channel 01, and tone, we're just going to leave that at 1. Okay, so we're back to uh, channel one. So if this unit and the transmitter are the same, they will work. All right, so to connect your chime, if you get one, um, on the back of the chime here, uh, it comes with a wire. Uh, the wire is already pre-stripped. What you wanna do is unloosen these screws, can slip the uh, bare part of the wire underneath each screw, and then tighten them up and that should be all set there and on the back of your receiver here what you want to do is you got two tabs here uh, push these tabs down and then slip the the wire into there make sure it's only the bare part of the wire that you slip in there and not the uh, uh, the coated part all right and then let, let go of the tabs and that should be all set it doesn't matter which way these wires go on the uh, receiver or on the transmitter, okay? All right guys, so now we have our transmitter set, our receiver, and our chime connected. And what we're gonna do is see if this works. So we're gonna turn this on. Now, to see if the chime works, I'm just gonna turn it on, but keep the volume on very low, okay? So let's see if this works. All right, that was on the back here. You could you have three different chimes. That was the first one. Let's try the second one. All right. Okay, that's London Bridge. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna try the third one. So those are your three tones. Um, so, and if you get tired of it and you wanna go back to uh, what is default, you just put this on off, turn this off, and just turn up your volume here, 
Okay, and it will tell you. Alert zone one. Alert zone one. Alert zone one. Okay, so that's all set up. We know the unit works. Next thing we have to do is mount this here, the uh, transmitter, over by the gate. All right, guys, so what I ended up doing is mounting it uh, to this post, but to this uh, board here, just underneath this opening here in the fence. And um, on this block here, I put a five degree cut on my table saw to bring this board out five degrees because my entrance here is like this. It looks like a V. It's roughly five degrees. So that's what I put in, it worked out pretty good. Um, so whenever anybody passes this, it will uh, send an alert to my house. All right, so now that you see this mounted, the antenna here has a straight shot all the way to my house. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do here, is I'm just gonna walk across it and see if I set it off. But I'm gonna be on this side of my driveway, all right? All right guys, so the next test I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my truck into my driveway and uh, we'll see if that works too. All right guys, so you can see it works pretty darn good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, so now, um, whenever guests come, un unexpected guests come, UPS, FedEx, whoever, when they pass through here, it'll send an alert to my house. Um, so, uh, they tell you to, to put it three to four feet off the ground. So that's where, roughly where I'm at right here. Um, this way, if a small dog or even a decent sized dog goes through here, it probably won't set it off. A deer would probably set it off. Um, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, also I wanted to, I didn't mention the chime, that little chime box that takes two, yeah, it was two double A batteries. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, so I guess that's about it guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this uh, unit helps you out. I know there's other ones out there, different brands, but they only work up to a quarter mile. And like I said, when you're, uh, right around quarter mile it, you know that's kind of iffy if it's going to work or not so better to get something stronger this uses the same um, radio transmissions as a walkie talkies okay it's the uh, MERS I think it's called system uh, but it's the same uh, analog system that uh, walkie talkies use in fact you can buy with this also I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna get one separately I should have got it I should have got one it's a walkie talkie that's designed to go with this unit uh, you pair up the, uh, the channel one, uh, the sub channels with it, and you can use it as a walkie talkie. So for instance, I could have this thing walkie talkie clipped to my uh, uh, belt here. I could be out way out here on my property. I could just push it and call my wife and, it'll, and uh, the receiver inside, she'll hear me. And all she has to do is hit that button marked PTT and uh, she can talk back to me. And PTT stands for uh, press to talk is basically what it stands for. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I would appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and share. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell, and it will alert you to any new video that I put out. All right, so again, thanks for watching, and um, I will see you in the next video.